Let's look at switch statements in JavaScript. It has a very easy format. It takes a switch, kind of like a wall switch, and checks the value of that switch against possible set of cases. In this case, we have a grade B and the possible set of cases as A, B, C, D. And if nothing matches, then we have a default case of not a valid grade. Whenever the switch statement matches a specific case, it will run the code mentioned inside it. Here, we have a grade B. So since it's not equal to A, we do not get a print of you got an A. As soon as it sees B as the case, the grade and the case match and we get a match of you got a B. But at the same time, it is also printing C and D as well as a not a valid grade. Why is that? It's because whenever switch matches the case, it will execute the entire code from that matching towards the end. To avoid such a situation, all you have to do is use the break statements alongside inside each of the cases. And now we only get you got a B. Let's also check for something like P, which is not a valid grade and we get the right output.